What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here tonight. We're going to be making fajitas on the Blackstone. Let's do it. All right, guys, so first thing we're going to do is put some yellow rice to cook. You can make your own authentic yellow rice. I've got the saffron right there in the cabinet, but I like to make it easy sometimes, and this tastes really good. It's very easy. You got two and a half cups of water you're going to bring to a boil. You're going to add the packet of rice, like so. And you're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil or avocado oil. That's about two tablespoons. And you're gonna mix it for about a minute. I'm just following the instructions, by the way. You mix it for a minute. After you mix it for a minute, you cover it, let it simmer for, or you turn it down a little bit, let it simmer for 20 to 25 minutes, done. Comes out perfect every time. Cover it, tight lid, turn it down to medium low, timer, 20 minutes. We'll check it at 20. We'll take a peek at it. We're not going to lift the lid. If it looks like it's done, we'll lift the lid. If not, we'll put it on for another three, four minutes. That's it. We are using Vigo yellow rice. It's a Spanish rice. It's got all the flavors you need. And you can see it simmering here. And we are also using avocado oil, uh, which is a little bit healthier for you and I've been using it lately and it's really good. All right, so now we got our rice down. We got about 18 minutes left. Let's go start the fajitas. Time to crank up the Blackstone. We wanna crank it up and get this on high heat. We're gonna cook our chicken first and we wanna make it nice and seared and uh, Crispy on the outside and tasting great. We've got some amazing looking ingredients here. So we're going to start off with some chopped cilantro, some yellow, red, and green bell peppers sliced. Uh, we're using chicken thighs sliced up and we marinated those for 24 hours with our chipotle roasted garlic seasoning from mccormick and then we have an onion or two onions actually sliced up uh, and we have our tortillas um, and there's that grill mates chipotle roasted garlic it's the same company that makes Montreal steak as well as Montreal chicken and let me tell you this came out great So we want to get our temperature up to pretty high heat at least 450 ish uh, 425 at least uh, I've got it reading here at 380 And it's going up quick and you can't see it because this Sun kind of blinds it out but a little bit to the left it's up to 425 so we're getting close to temperature here and that's when we're gonna throw down our chicken so we use a little bit of canola oil here it's good for the surface of the black stone and we spread it out and chicken is on 
like I said, that's been marinating for 24 hours with this chipotle roasted garlic seasoning. It smells delicious. So you want to break it up and just kind of spread it out. Uh, they've been, you know, they've been getting happy together for a while, so they're kind of sticking. So you want to break them up so they're nice and loosey goosey, if you will. And once you get them broken up, you want to put them back together and kind of uh, create a nice little uh, pocket of chicken. You want to let those cook for about, let's say, a minute, minute and a half on each side. And we're going to add some fresh squeezed lime juice as well as some fresh chopped cilantro. And the aroma is amazing. Yes, I said it. Amazing. So after about a minute, minute and a half, you want to check it to see if it's getting cooked underneath. You definitely don't want it to burn. Uh, and it is ready to turn. So we give it a few scoops, turn over the pieces that haven't been turned, and you can see the color, which looks great. Make sure they're all turned over so they cook evenly. Put them back together. Nice big happy family. And a little bit more lime juice on the other side. And we definitely need a close up here because wow, look at that. You can hear that sizzle. So that's it. It's about two and a half, three minutes in, and it's time to show my new skills as a Blackstone chef. I've had this Blackstone now since January, actually since December 25th, but I use it for the first time in January, I don't know, third or fourth. And uh, you see, I'm getting pretty good at this. It doesn't take long, just a little bit of practice. And it's a lot of fun, so that makes it easier too. And the food tastes great, so that makes it easier as well. So another nice close up, look at that chicken. I cannot wait to put these into a fajita. All right, let's take the chicken off and start working on our veggies. You don't want to cook the chicken 100% here because they're gonna, it's going to continue to cook. So cook it about 85, 90% and you're Chicken's off. We're gonna turn it down a little bit. Let's say medium heat. Add some more oil and spread it out and get ready for our veggies. Start with the onions. We've got two medium onions sliced. And here we're gonna break them up as best we can. And try not to spill too many over the edge like that last one that just went over the edge. It happens. We leave the chicken remnants because it tastes good with that fajita 
um, chipotle roasted garlic spice in there. So we're gonna break it up, mix it up, cut it up, whatever we gotta do. Stir it up nice and evenly, and then we're gonna move it off to the side, make room for our peppers. I used one red, one yellow, and one green bell pepper. And as you can see, they are colorful. They look great. Slice them up into strips. Um, and add them in there. And then we're going to add some more lime juice. As well as some more fresh chopped cilantro. We're going to add some more of that chipotle roasted garlic seasoning as well as some ground salt and some fresh ground black pepper so we season these veggies pretty nicely as you can see and then it's time to mix them up get them all Mixed up together and coated up with that seasoning, and they are gonna taste great. Once you get them all mixed up, you want to get them in a nice pocket, if you will. And here's where we're going to add some water on the outside rim and steam them up as we usually do so they don't take forever to cook. So here we go, steam them up. They're going to cook nice and evenly and that's going to help the process and they are going to be outstanding. After about five or six minutes, you want to check these, make sure they are not burning number one uh, you don't want them on high heat here it takes a little bit of time so you want them on medium low to low actually because that steam really cooks them uh, pretty quickly uh, I'd say about eight to ten minutes total so you want to check them which I just did right there with a the fork they still need a couple more minutes but they're almost done All right, these veggies are done. They look outstanding. You don't want them too mushy, for sure. Uh, you want them a little bit crisp, which you can see that they are. They're not mushy at all. The onions are done perfectly. The peppers are still a little bit crispy, and they will continue to cook, so you don't have to worry about them being too hard. They're just right, and you can see the the, the, the blackstone flavor coming through there. Almost done here. We are going to clean the blackstone. Not 100% clean, but just get all the black stuff off the blackstone because we are going to heat up the fajita tortillas and we don't want a bunch of black stuff on them. So uh, it really just this is so easy you know you got a paint scraper that works tremendous if you haven't used one I would highly recommend it any any uh, home improvement store you can get them Ace Hardware Home Depot Lowe's doesn't matter and you put some steam down and just move this uh, you know scrape this black stuff grease whatever out of the way and you have a nice relatively clean palette in order to toast up Time to put our tortillas down. And these will not take long. Literally a minute or two. And that's it. Minutes up and you can see them starting to bubble. And that's when it's time to flip. You can see the, uh, the brown on the underneath. And you can see them starting to pocket up a little bit with some air. You may need to poke it like that to keep it flat, um, but literally these take about a good minute 
on each side and they are good to go and we are almost ready to wrap up these fajitas and give them a shot i am so excited so we put these in some tin foil and we layer them give a little space in between each one and you wrap these up and roll them up and they stay nice and hot it's a little tip for you here so as you can see over here you get them lined up wrap them up roll them in that tin foil and they are good to go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know where to start. Well, first of all, we're a little late to the party. It's actually Siete de Mayo when we're filming this. It's been raining here in Miami for the last week, but we finally got to make our fajitas. And man, they came out amazing. And not only that, but really delicious looking. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm trying to use other words than amazing. I say amazing a lot and it's starting to drive myself crazy. So anyway, I digress. Look at the food. The colors are beautiful. The smell is ridiculous. That's a good word. Uh, and let's stop talking and let's dig in because I cannot wait to give these a try. Oh, look at the tortillas. We're going to make one up right now. So let's grab some chicken. And we use that chipotle seasoning with the smoky flavor. I cannot wait to taste it. And I tend to make mine too big, but that's all right. We will do what we have to do. A couple peppers. You see that? A uh, little bit of rice. Oh my God. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to shut this. But we will try. A little bit of cheese. A little bit of pico de gallo. <laughs> I'm running out of room. A little dab of sour cream. A little dab of fresh guac, which I tasted this, and it is awesome. And finally, some Cholula hot sauce with chipotle. Oh. We gotta give it a little bit of heat. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Wow, that is phenomenal. The smoky flavor. From the seasoning is coming through. Oh, and all the fresh ingredients. One more bite. I have to. Mmm. That tastes so good. Mmm. That's the best fajita I've ever had in my life. <laughs> you gotta try this. I'll list all the ingredients down below please remember to subscribe like comment thank you all for your support i appreciate it and we'll keep on cooking big cat out